In my role as Minister for Care, I'm delighted to be leading on the Ageing Grand Challenge on behalf of the government. This will work alongside programmes of work on social care reform and on improving outcomes for people suffering from dementia. As a society, we've been successful at lengthening our lives. Now we need to continue to make progress on improving our health, but also grasp the opportunity to make sure all these extra years are quality years. With a realistic expectation that a child today can live to 100, we all need to rethink our approach to our work, housing, care and health. And this is a global trend and one where the UK can really be on the front foot if we harness all our unique strengths and capabilities from our expertise in life sciences, design, financial services and data. It's not just about older people, but it's for everyone. Now is the time when we must think differently about how we approach our lives and prepare for the 100-year life. This is why I was so pleased the government announced ageing as one of its grand challenges in the industrial strategy. This signals our strong commitment to work collectively with industry across central and local government, with our research base and with civil society to respond positively to this global challenge into an ageing opportunity. The government's ambitious industrial strategy will not only boost productivity and ensure Britain leads the global scientific and technological revolution around ageing, creating new job opportunities and economic growth, but it will also help us live healthier, happier, more independent lives. It will empower people to remain active and connected to their communities, and it will help carers and family members support one another. You are all there today to take the first step in working out how we can use the £98 million innovation fund to help develop the technologies of tomorrow which can help us age better. I hope this fund will build on the opportunities that are already emerging, such as the power of smart homes and voice recognition to help someone regain their independence. We also see it in how data anal analytics can help put in place early support that averts a crisis and a distressing trip to A&E. I'm truly excited by the possibilities that are within our grasp. I believe there are also huge opportunities for us to think more smartly around the simple things that can make a real difference, especially by building on our world-class strengths in design and putting people at the heart of our thinking. The excellent bench which I know the National Innovation Centre for Ageing have been working on and which has the power to open up our communities to all is an excellent example of just that. Simple, smart and effective. Looking beyond the funding, I'm also committed to ensuring that central government makes the most of all its policy levers to achieve success in this grand challenge. I want to think about how regulation, wider government funding pots and wider reform to the way that public services are commissioned and procured can also help. So my key message for you today is be bold, be brave, think big. This is a real opportunity to turn the dial by scaling our great ideas and demonstrating that they really can make a difference to people across the country who want to experience the best possible outcomes. I hope you all have a great day. I look forward to hearing about how you progress.